<clears throat> and welcome back to Resident Evil, everybody. Now, when we last left off, we would got ourselves a collection of keys. Uh, more shotgun shells than we know what to do with. And of course, we took out Brad and switched up our uniforms. So, let's go back, get that small key. Um, and, I guess, explore. Now, of course, there is... Um, another venue that we need to hit up which we certainly will make some tracks to. Shall I get the... I don't know if I even want to bother with the, the handgun parts. I mean, I guess we'll get them. They really are, though, in my uh, humble opinion, utterly pointless. Which is a shame. I hate to think of any weapon... Uh, welcome, Leon, written there. Lovely. I hate to think of uh, any weapon or piece of equipment in this game as useless, but... They genuinely are useless. Maybe if you're doing an unlimited ammo run or something like that, then I guess. But the fact that they just rip through ammo at a rate of knots, quite a frightening rate, to be honest, is just. It's pointless. I mean, maybe they'd be good against Mr. X, I suppose. I guess we could give that a go. It does take about 20 bullets to down him, I think. So I suppose if we're going to be rocking the pistol, why not? But I think the time, uh, our time with the pistol is rapidly coming to a close anyway. Yeah, so I was just reading up about Paul Haddad and uh, he seems like such a humble and nice guy. Which is crazy. Anyway, let's grab these parts. And this is the last time we're ever going to gangster fire our handgun. Which is actually a really stupid way of holding a gun, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, and now we've got the full stock and everything. But, hey, that's one upgrade down. Now, I think we need to go back through here and down. Although, I don't actually think we can go through this door. Uh, on this B scenario, I actually think we have to go down and around. I'm not 100% sure on that though, so let's find out. I'm pretty sure um, because the, the actual blue car key didn't open the same doors that it does in scenario A. It opened the library instead of this hallway door. Unless this one just straight up isn't locked. However, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Maybe not. Or maybe we've already unlocked it. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a little while. Anyway. Uh, uh, oh, maybe we did unlock this earlier. There's a herb there. Well, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Apparently pick herbs. So that will go nicely into our back pocket. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I think we have already been through here, haven't we? It's the only trouble when you record games in, in batches and then don't go near them again for a while. No Zeds through here. Now, do we have enough firepower for this bit, actually? Uh, I don't know, actually. We will take that, because there's a good chance we might need this. Um, we can open that. It's Oh, it's a club key. Oh, right, yeah, we used the spade key, didn't we? God damn it. So we can't actually do that bit yet if we want it anyway. And the club key is up in Tyrannus, if I remember correctly. Oh, hello. Are you worth a couple of handgun bullets? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything on the other side of him. 
That is a horrible sound they make. You know what? Let's just try, see how good this actually is against him. Hmm. I mean, eh, it's okay. I guess. Uh, there's actually no reason to fight him at all, to be honest. Okay, so it does make the, the handgun legitimately okay-ish, kind of, maybe, um, to fight that liquor. Now, now we've killed that liquor, I don't think he's going to come through here. Yeah, that's it. Pretty sure he's not going to come through here now. You know, on the account of him uh, <clears throat> being, uh, well, dead. Now, I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. I kind of hope I'm not. No, okay, he's also going to come through here. Ugh, really didn't want that to happen. Come on, you fucker. Ooh. I only took two shells. I thought it was going to take more than that. Right, also, one thing to note. Um, in the remake, I will say this. It's a very similar setup in this room. In fact, the whole game's fairly similar in a lot of ways. Uh, if you kill that liquor in that room, it obviously doesn't jump through here in the remake. I know that for a fact. So, that's another plug. Let's go back up and see Tyrannus. Yeah, I thought we could do that now. Um, where can we use the heart key to? The heart key. I'm pretty sure we can use the heart key. Um, is it upstairs? No, no, no. I think, yeah, I think I know where it is. That's cool. The heart key, actually. Turn around. Turn around. The heart key. Is down here. I'm sure of it. And that will lead down to the downstairs part. Which I guess would be good to get out of the way. Maybe. And we can go meet Ada. Can we really do that bit now? Ooh. Where the... Okay. Alright. Um, uh, uh, right. Uh, can we aim at that one, please, Leon? Thank you. Right, you're done. Oh. There's a few of them here. I guess we drop these guys. Because why not, I suppose. Right, he's gone. Um, who else? You're next? Alright, let's actually go get a better look at you. Kind of a waste of bullets, but at the same time, who gives a fuck? This is Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I do like the way that you can actually shoot the zombies as they get up. Now, you couldn't do that in Resident Evil 1. And I thought as much that was going to happen. Come on. There we go. Let's try and aggro you back through here. Yeah, there was also rumours, like, when you upgraded this gun, that it got more powerful. Or it fires slightly faster. Now, I don't think that's true. It doesn't feel to be more powerful. It seems to reload quicker, though. There we go. That's where we use the heart key. Ooh. That's not a bad shout, actually. Not a bad shout at all. We'll grab that. We really are a little on the low side when it comes to ammo, aren't we? Oof. I'm hoping there's some more ammo in the other room. 
We might actually have to come back here later. Uh, yeah, because we've got nine rounds left and three for the shotgun. That's not a lot. Ooh. Can we get a triple here? Or a double? Or maybe a double-double? Yes, we can. I really didn't think that was going to work. Oh, great guy. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, there's some shotgun shells here, I think. No, there isn't. Damn. Um, yeah, let's not go down there, actually. We've cleared the way, but... Ammo is a bit of a concern. I mean, it's not, because we've got tons in our item box. But we don't... I don't know what's down there. Uh, could we do it with what we've got in our pocket? I mean, technically, nah, technically we, I mean, we could, but we could go up and around, I suppose, go to this one, because uh, that's close to where we want to be anyway, so go on, all right, you've, you've, you've made your point, Leon, for fuck's sake, we'll go this way. Oh, and yes, I'm glad someone agrees with me about the ambient sound out here. It's so good. So weird coming, you know, having this game where there were legitimately different ways through it. Like the whole A and B scenario. That was such a cool concept. And this was the only uh, Resident Evil that did that, I think. I mean, obviously you had uh, Chris and Jill separately in, in RE2. Uh, in RE1, of course, and the layout was different, but they didn't really carry on from each other. And all the other RE games kind of just had um, separate stories. So it was really interesting what they did with this one. I wonder why they never did that again. Maybe it was a lot of work. Let's grab some shells. Uh, let's also go do... Let's go do the uh, Tyrannus bit. Tyrannius? I don't know his name. Uh, right. Let's go get the club. Where's the other rook? Yeah, the <coughs> the redesigned um, puzzle as well in RE2 remake involving the chess pieces was a pain in the dick as well. It really was. Was a huge pain in the cock. Was not a fan. Right, run! Oh, come on. How could you block me like that? That was really annoying. Those guys, like, they're so easy to dodge. They really are. Right, where are you, son? There you are. That'll do. Wanted to do it in a two shot, but I guess that was that shall suffice. I love the ambience as well. The fact that you can actually hear the um, the uh, air and the wind blowing out outside is really cool. Really freaking cool. Right. Can't believe those freaking liquors. I don't want to waste the shells on them. Not that there is such a thing as a waste in this game. But it just seems silly, you know? So, that's another plug, I believe. Yeah, king plug. Cool. And now, the only thing left to do is to go underground. Is there anything in that big pot? Nothing inside? No. No bullets or anything anywhere? A woman relief. A jewel is in place. Yeah. What's she relieved about, I wonder? <laughs> I'm here all day, folks. Well, I'm here for the next 16 minutes anyway. Or thereabouts. Right. Um, really don't want to blast you. Like, you're such a waste of my time and ammo. You really are. Oh, fuck. <sighs> 
fine, guys. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. Have it your way. You wanted to die. I give you your death. Didn't want to. You picked that, not me. We could have been cool. We could have been chill. We could have all been friends. We could have sat down, had a fucking tank of veil. But no. You wanted to be Mr. Fucking Pissy Pants. And that is why your brain is now all over the floor. And my shotgun is smoking. That was your fault, not mine. And fuck you if you think otherwise. I'm quite a nice guy, I think. You know, I'm very tolerant. Um, I could live and let live. You know. I guess that's not the way they want his role. Um, right. So... Trying to think what way round we need to go now. Uh, we could go. What way round do we need to? Ah, yeah. I know. I'm just being stupid. Ah, uh, these zombies, man. Zombies and liquors. The only thing they seem to understand is a massive boot right up their arsehole. The only thing they understand it, you know. Discipline, I guess. And hey, Leon. Leon isn't opposed to handing out an ass whooping when he sees the need. There isn't always a need, you know. Sometimes you can look at a shotgun to the face as ex excessive, okay? But today wasn't that day. Right, okay. Your enemies can't fear you if they're all dead. Did we harvest this guy? We did harvest this guy. Alright, let's go find Ada, shall we? See what she's been up to all this time. Probably not much. But then she is a mysterious lady. We may never know. Oh man, they really need to give Ada her own slice of the action. Technically we've got Resident Evil 6, but... I mean, she needs her own proper game. Now, we've got liquors down here. Doesn't sound like we've got anything down here. We got no Oh, we got Zeds. How interesting. Okay. Can handle some zombies. Oh. Got a lot of Zeds, apparently. Okay. Really, Leon? Really? You did that on purpose. You really did. You did that shit on purpose, Leon. Uh, fine. I mean, we're about to get a whole massive box of shotgun shells anyway, to be honest. Ooh, open wide. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, friend. Hmm. Let's go see Ada and Ben. Long legs, red dress, can only mean one thing. It's Ada. What zombie. uniform? Need glasses, Ada. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand. Hmm. Well, Ada, you don't really like working with people, but sure. Not that Leon knows this yet. 
And let's grab this bad boy, just because we can. Can't believe we've run out of, like, handgun bullets. Alright, come on, Anita. There we go. Teamwork is dream work. And we're back. Right, so, oh, if I can get myself back into position. All right, Ada, let's go. One door at a time. We should be fine. Ada's got a gun, we've got a gun. Ada, wait. <laughs> Ada, wait. Leon, I don't think she really cares, my dude. Uh, Ada gives no shits. Now we have another film here. Uh, it's kind of a ball ache to take it all the way back, to be honest. Uh, well, the lock is open. If the lock's open, then we're going to go have a little look inside. Anything in here, I think? Ah, oh, there's a blue and a green. Interesting. Well, waste not, want not. No point leaving it for the roaches, guys. No point leaving it for the roaches. I'll have them. Okay. Now, Mr. Ben. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Uh, we don't care too much about right, easy. I'm going. Well, okay. Yeah, you don't really need to show us game. It's literally just out the door. Um, now, let's have a little look. See what we can do here. Uh, let's take this for now. Now, we do need some plugs. Now, I actually like what they did with Ben in the remake. I think his character is a lot better. But then, I think the characters in general are better in the remake. Um, that's my personal opinion, of course. They just seem more realistic. Right. So, hey Fido, chill the fuck out, will ya? Let's grab this. I mean, I guess, oh yeah, we can't, can we? Ooh. Really don't want to use shotguns on these guys, but 
Well, one down. Really? Yeah, the shotgun is just such a crazy waste on those things. I always find the health for the dogs is really random. Alright, yep, yeah, let's mix that up. Yeah, the health on the dogs is so random. Like, sometimes they die really quickly and easily. And other times, fuck me, man. There we go. Well, we got some herbage anyway, so... There's nothing in here. Again, I'm sure there is a version of this game where there is stuff here. But I guess not this game. Right, well, let's crack this bass open, shall we? Okay. And that does use that up, which is quite nice. Right, let's go back down. Back down? Let's go down. We haven't actually been back down at all yet. And we have spitters. Now, these spiders aren't too bad to avoid. They certainly aren't worth our time and ammo. Put it that way. Now, I say that, and uh, I'm going to get fucked up with them. Next time. Luckily, storage room. Just what we wanted. Because we need to jiggle our junk around. This would have been a massive pain in the ass. Uh, if we couldn't save here. So, let's... Let's put you back. Let's put you back. Let's put you back. Don't need you yet, either. Uh, we are bingo supplies. Pretty hardcore bingo supplies, to be honest with you. Uh, there is also some ink ribbons, but we're... I mean, we don't need them, but... <clears throat> I mean, if the game's going to give them to us, why not? Uh, oh, my God. God, look at that. 20 ink ribbons. Good God. Right, we'll take the blue herb. Just because, why not? Uh, and we'll put the blue herb there as well. There we go. Got all of our bases covered. Um, we will just go do the aid a bit and then we shall call it a video, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool. Uh, we could actually, what we could do to save ourselves a little bit of an arse ache later on, not that it's really much of an arse ache to be honest, but humour me please. We can go get the plugs now and plug them all in. Because that way instead of using four item slots, we can just use one. Now, this is one thing I do like about this game. You can see just how different Leon's bit is to Claire, because obviously as Claire, we never come here. Um, and there's a few little bits like this in this game. Uh, it's really freaking cool. And personally, like if you're gonna do an A and a B scenario, it's nice to actually have a bit of a difference between them because otherwise, what's the point, you know? I mean, yes, uh, the A and B scenario did have different stuff in it in Remake, but it was so subtle. It was ridiculously subtle. This is definitely more of a feature complete game. Oh, we had to go in there. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Lel. I don't think I've introduced myself. I don't think she cares. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit, Leon. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Maybe. Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Well, I mean, it's worth a go, I suppose. Get used to that, Leon. Women step on you your whole life, and they don't listen to you either. Poor Leon. Claire doesn't listen to him. Ada doesn't listen to him. Oh, hey, Sherry. Uh, 
How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. Mm. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Aww. So there is a heart in there somewhere, Ada. Well, let's keep going. Let's go see if we can find Sherry. Now, Ada, unlike Sherry, actually is equipped with some weapons. She has the uh, Browning HP, which is cool. So she's not as useless as uh, Sherry. But of course, Sherry can move with the quickness. Now, she actually holds her gun on the side as well. Uh, but she does actually stabilize it, but she fires really quickly. Because, you know, Ada's a professional. We don't exactly know what Ada is, or who she's working for, or what her motives are. We know she's not... Um, she, well, <laughs> she doesn't appear to be uh, an enemy. But, yeah, she's, there's definitely some weird shit going on with her. Anyway, I really want them to clear it up. I know a lot of people like the fact that she's mysterious and stuff. Which is fine. Uh, the other RE characters don't need to know what she's up to. But it would be nice if we found out some more information. Because she's, she's a really cool character. She's one of my favourites. Um... I just, like, is there a branch of the um, government she's working with? Is is she working for her own organization? Is she just a mercenary out for her own ends? We know she does work with Wesker. We know she does work with uh, the government. And we know she does work for another company as well. All of these things, but... Is she playing everybody off against themselves? I mean, she has her own agenda, and I don't think she's evil. She's she's not a baddie. She just operates in this kind of grey area. Um, and I really want to know more about her. And actually, my buddy Jimmy says uh, it would be interesting to get some kind of uh, uh, spin-off game series with her uh, a little bit like a Metal Gear game or something, a little bit more stealth uh, orientated, which maybe that could be interesting. Maybe. I mean, we did find out some stuff about her in RE6, but to be honest, I don't really remember anything about RE6. Uh, RE6 was... Look, I'm not going to knock the gameplay on RE6, like the fighting and all that stuff was fun. But the stories were just a complete and utter mess. They really needed to tidy that up. And because of how much of an archaic mess the story was in RE6, we got Resident Evil 7, which is the Resident Evil that we might have needed, but it's not the Resident Evil we wanted. You know, the more I think back to Resident Evil 7, <laughs> the less I kind of like it I'm gonna it's gonna be interesting playing that one back again you know it's it's kind of Resident Evil in name only it, it, the gameplay felt very Resident Evil I thought with the house and the keys and the puzzles but they were very basic and stripped down but the characters and the enemies were just no no, no. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Yay! Big box of shotgun shells. Lovely. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, hey, you do that, Ada. Be seeing you. What? Ada, wait! <laughs> Ada, wait! Leon, she can't really wait. She can't get back over, so... Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Hey, well done, Glatt. Got it. All righty. Look, you don't need to show me game. I know. 
Okay, so we know where we're going. So we have the club key again. We have some more beautiful shotgun shells because we can never have too many beautiful shotgun shells. They are the most delicious of shells. Uh, and also, oh God, we're on 35 minutes again. Uh, this game is just too easy to play. It's so Moorish for me, you know? It's like putting on an old, comfortable pair of trousers. Um, you just don't want to get out of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure on some level somewhere that works. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.